So now we got this level 8 in prompt ML and we are given a function which is again taking user input and it's replacing some characters like forward slash, backward slash and line breaks, anglo bracket and double quotes. So if you write something in here, let's say doc, obvious example. Okay, so it's going inside this console log and you can see it's also inside this common syntax. So whatever you are writing here or typing here, it's getting inside the common syntax. Hence, it's not gonna get executed. So even if you write some payload in here, it's not gonna get executed. So the first thing we want to do is to escape out of this common syntax. And the obvious way to do that is to use a double quotes. But the double quotes is being replaced so we cannot use that or we cannot use the line breaks either. So what we can do? Well, we can use some characters like this. Well, this is a line breaking character for JavaScript. You can use this to break new line in JavaScript and then you can type whatever you want to. But we are going to do this inside the console, not here, because as you can see, it's get, it's uh, reflected here as it is. But we want it to get parsed, right? So um, let's do inspect element, and we have this input ID. So now we're gonna go to console, and in here I'm gonna type document dot get element by id so i'm taking this input element which is this element and its id name is input that's why i put an input in here now i want to add value to it well i'm basically doing the same thing typing here or here basically does the same thing so if I write something like here, say dog, just to show you here, you can see the value is assigned to the input element and it's being reflected here. So we are going to type our payload using the console. That's what we're doing. So document.get element by id and then input and then value equals now the line breaking characters which was slash u2028 and then prompt one and again slash u2028 okay so i was typing in here and i got stuck okay we are able to break the line and then write our payload and it's going to look something like this um let me copy this and so yeah my payload this uh, u2028 character is gonna break the line and prompt one is going to be here and then we use another line breaking characters so again a line break and here we got this i want to comment this thing out the obvious way to comment this thing out is by using double slash right but as you can see the slashes are being replaced so we cannot use that so i was stuck here so i looked around on the internet and saw some other people blogs and I found out a weird thing <laughs> that we can use these characters to comment out the rest of the things yeah double dash and then angular bracket well this is used in HTML to comment out stuff something like this to close the comment in HTML it is used like this but it's weird but we can also use this in here to comment the rest of the stuff in here so yeah this is what we're going to do
double dash and then I glow break it. Semicolon and if I hit enter, you can see the um, value is assigned to the input element in here. And yep, you won. So this is how it works. This is weird, really, but yeah.